Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Kasori electric kettle and this Kasori 8 cup pour over coffee maker. So the electric kettle is very nice. It's got a nice lid. It control You can control the pour very easy. Heats up the water fast. Very simple to operate. We can press whatever button we want as far as what temperature we want the electric kettle to heat the water up to. Now the electric kettle does connect to the VaySync uh, app on your smartphone and you can select the temperature you'd like and then it shows the current temperature as the water's heating inside there. This is a very neat app. The pour over, I like that it has this. This is like an insulator when the coffee's really hot. This is our filter. We've got a spoon. This is where you're gonna put the coffee into the filter and this is where the pour over is. So it's a very thick glass. Okay, this is an eight cup coffee maker. So it says to put one scoop per four fluid ounces. So eight cups of coffee maker cups is 34 fluid ounces. So I could put up to eight scoops of coffee in here. The kettle only holds about 28 ounces of water. So we're going to brew just a little over 28 ounces. So I'm only going to brew seven cups in this. So I'm going to put seven of these tablespoons of coffee in here. Your coffee should be ground at a medium to coarse grind. And again, this is the filter. It's a metal filter. I'm just going to set it right there. Here, I've got my ground coffee. You're simply just going to put it right there in the filter. Okay, I got my coffee in. Let's press, I got my water filled up in here. Let's press the coffee button. Now this is gonna heat it up to 205 degrees. And the app is gonna change colors. See how there's bubbles coming out of it. It's gonna change colors and tell us the target temperature is 205 and it's right now at 133 and it's heating. So we'll keep an eye on that. So we're gonna gently shake this to kind of get the coffee grounds nice and level. Okay, so the app has changed a little bit color. We can definitely hear the water is getting really hot in there. Okay, we can definitely tell it's still heating up. We're getting really close. Okay, so we're at 204 degrees. It's just about ready to turn off. Okay, it beeped at us, let us know we got a notification. Now let's make our coffee. We're gonna brew just a little bit. We're gonna let it bloom for just a little bit. I like this gooseneck, I got a lot of control. We're gonna go in a circular motion. Again, we're not gonna do a whole lot of water here. Then we're gonna let it sit for a minute. I always wanna be going in a circular motion. Okay, now we're gonna let it bloom. Wait about 30 seconds. Okay, after your coffee's done blooming, then you're gonna just continue pouring the rest of the water in a circular motion, starting at the outside Working your way to the middle. Just a nice continuous path. Okay, so I've got all the water poured in. We're doing it. It's almost done brewing its coffee. We're going to let it kind of finish dripping. And does have a little handle there that's not too hot, but it could be hot. So be careful when you take this off. Okay, it's got a little spout here. Let's pour ourselves some coffee. Again, make sure you hold it by this like bamboo that's on the sides. That is really, really hot. All right, that is way too hot to drink right now. But it makes a great cup of coffee. Okay, let's check the temperature. That is really hot, 160 degrees. So they want you to hand wash all these components, the scoop, this. You can take this little strap off and take those insulators off and then hand wash this also. So the Kasori electric kettle is just a really nice addition for the Kasori 8 cup pour over coffee maker. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.